Good morning, darlings. Welcome to another Thailand vlog. I wanted to do something a little bit different today, and I haven't done a what I eat in a day in a long time, um, and we've got a few different things going on today, so I thought it'd be quite fun to do a what I eat in a day Thailand version. So you probably will have already seen where we are staying from my Instagram. I did a little room tour on IGTV, so I won't give you too much info on all of that now, um, but Charlie and I are about to head to breakfast and then we have a boat trip to, I think we're going to more of a local island. We can see the islands from our room and it's going to be a lovely boat trip by the looks of it. So I think we'll get to go to some more local markets for our lunch and then we have a fine dining experience this evening. So there's going to be lots of very, very different foodie things going on. Hopefully I'll be able to show you some more traditional Thai cuisine. And then stay tuned for after the boat trip because I'm going to be showing you something very exciting that I've been working on with one of my favorite skincare brands, L'Occitane. It's a very exciting thing coming soon. So stay tuned for after the boat trip when we get back to the room, I will show you all about that. A very quick outfit of the day before we go on board. I was just saying to Charlie that I didn't pack very well for the beachy part of this trip. I kind of mostly packed for the Chiang Mai part of the trip, so I don't really have many beachy dresses with me. I've got this and I've got my kaftan. Nothing with short sleeves, so silly of me. But this is a lovely little romper. I thought it looked quite Zimmerman-esque, but actually it's just from ASOS. I'll leave it linked down below. And then I've got some little Pandora jewelry pieces on, which I probably will take off before going in the sea, but they don't tarnish, so I don't have to, but they're just too precious to um, potentially lose them or anything like that. I've got my rose gold charm bracelet on and a selection of rings, and then I've also got my hearts of Pandora necklace and then some little stud earrings. So that's my outfit of the day. Oh, actually, I'm going to pop on. I've got some little mango flat shoes, which are perfect for just sliding on. While we're here, I might as well just show you again this amazing view. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. So I think we're going to, maybe not these islands, I don't think they're inhabited, but maybe some of the bigger ones over there. But it should be good fun. Sat outside on the balcony, overlooking the islands. So beautiful. We've got a little menu here. We can choose our egg dish. I think I'm gonna go for Eggs Benedict. And then there's a little buffet inside. Charlie's a happy boy, because what have we just found, darling? Juice bar. Yes. Looks epic. This does look good. So you can either choose one of their um, main ones that they've already made up, or this lovely lady is going to make us a specific juice from these pieces. We've gone for a ginger, apple, and carrot juice. Yum, yum. And even better news, there's also a pancake and waffle station. Yay. I may have gone a little overboard on the beverages. Also have a cappuccino, some milk for my Frosties. No matter how fancy the breakfast selection, I'll always start with Frosties. Round two, and I've gone for a very beige plate. Gone for a pancake and a waffle, and then a selection of donuts. These are Chinese donuts, and then this is obviously a pan chocolat. How did you have your eggs, darling? I had an omelette. I love an omelette. It's a lot of effort making an omelette with all the like chopping and preparation. Mm -hmm. So I don't often do it at home. So I had an omelette, green tea and a juice, so quite helpful. Very good, darling. And I am the opposite. Beige food.
actually left the local island just before 12 so we didn't get any lunch there we just had our lovely I had a fresh watermelon juice smoothie and Charlie had a fresh coconut so that was lovely there were little piggies wandering around the island which was very cute they said that there were over 200 pigs living on that very small island we met a couple of them so we're back to the room now there are a few restaurants on um, in the Conrad resort but I think because we just want to chill out we're gonna order some room service I think I might just get a pad thai or something to at least be a little bit more thai we also ordered room service yesterday and charlie hugely over ordered i'll insert a clip on the screen now of how much food we had but it was delicious but now we know we only need one plate each they are not like tapas so we're gonna get ordering and then i'll show you what we choose <laughs> has arrived mine is a pad c ew i think this is my main course um it's chicken wok fried flat noodles we've got some kale sauce and some vegetables and then i've also got some lovely spring rolls because i had these yesterday and they were super delicious charlie's just taking a quick food snap what have you got there dying this is the best dish nice and you've got like a beef or pork dish is the same as yours, just with pork. Nice. an afternoon in the I say in the sun I tend to lie in the shade otherwise I get a little bit burnt um, been lying outside relaxing had a lovely lunch outside I am just having my afternoon coffee sadly it's not an espresso machine but it's still pretty good and I also tell me if anyone else does this I also pinched some pastries from breakfast I just wrapped them up in a little napkin because I always find at this time of day I crave something a little bit sweet so I have had they were called Chinese donuts. They were like, um, I don't know how to describe them. Basically, imagine a UK style donut or a normal donut, but a little bit less sweet. It was okay, not the best, but very good for dunking. So as promised, I did say that I would let you know about something very exciting that I'm doing with L'Occitane. But first of all, I thought I would tell you why I love the brand and my experience with them. So the first time I discovered L'Occitane, and I'm sure this is probably the same with a lot of you guys and a lot of people all over the world, was through their hand cream. And actually, I always, I think the first time I discovered it was when mum and I went to Courcheval, which is a town in the French Alps, and L'Occitane is a French brand, L'Occitane en Provence. And mum and I were in Courcheval skiing, and we realized that a figure skating evening was going on there, so ice skating, and our favourite ice skaters were performing. It was Marina Anasina and Gwendel Pezera. They used to skate to Time to Say Goodbye, and that they, for Mum and I, were just our absolute favourites. We couldn't believe it when we found out that they were going to be skating in Courchevel, so we booked up tickets and um, had an amazing evening watching them while the rest of the family were out doing their apres ski. And it was on our seats at this ice skating tournament that they had little lox tan pouches. And in these pouches were some little minis of the hand creams, of a few of their body products. And that was the first time I discovered the hand creams. And I kept these tiny little samples in my handbag, in my travel bag for months and months after that. I used the tiniest amount because I just thought they were so lovely, so heavenly scented that I didn't want them to run out. So I savored them for as long as possible and then bought a new one as soon as they did run out. Fast forward maybe 15 years, I was a lot younger when that happened and I'm still a huge fan of the brand. I have branched out a few of my product favourites. I've mentioned their body butters a lot. I love using their creams post shower. A lot of their cleansing products, I'm still a huge fan of the hand creams. So many bits and bobs. In fact, I have one thing here. This is the 
almond douche gourmante shower scrub this i would highly recommend if you've got any summer holidays coming up because it's not too harsh if you've had a day in the sun and you just want to exfoliate but very gently you could use this on a daily basis and it smells amazing it's made with almond flour so it smells divine perfect for a post summer holiday treat and many other things like their cleansing oils their body milks i could go on forever but on to the exciting news, so I have teamed up with L'Occitane to create my very own dun 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 little pouch filled with my favourite pieces. This is going to be for sale on the L'Occitane website and in the stores from today. It's going to be £25, you get the pouch and five products inside, carefully selected by yours truly. So if perhaps you want to discover the brand for the first time or if you know you like a certain product then you can just try a few more products in the range or if you've heard me talk about these in previous videos and you wanted to try them but maybe didn't want to go in with the full size just yet then this is going to be a great way of you trying them out so you get this lovely little pouch and it's cream with a very on trend mustard yellow piping and then a little toggle here which has got surprise surprise my favorite outfit on the front beautiful sketch it says fashion mumbler times l'occitane and then inside there are my choice of little mini goodies of course I had to put in what I think is the most iconic L'Occitane product and the product that first introduced me to the brand, it is their lavender hand cream. This is their 30 ml hand cream, so it's a really good size, it's not one of those teeny weeny dinky ones, you could still put this in your hand luggage if you need it for long haul flights, things like that. Smells amazing, it keeps your hands super soft and moisturised, could not recommend this enough, I'm sure most of you have already tried this because it's such an ultimate favourite. The next one, something that I rave about all the time, is this beautiful body milk. This is the Pivoin Floral, which I think is French for peony, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the body milk. This is a really beautiful lightweight body moisturiser, smells absolutely heavenly, sinks in really really quickly. Once again, a really good size for travel. If you are going on any city breaks or if you are doing hand luggage only, all of these pieces will be suitable for taking on your travels. If you're going on any hot holidays as well and you need a little bit of extra body moisturization this also contains shea butter so very good at keeping you hydrated for longer next we have got the almond shower gel oil now this again great for holiday great for hydration really good for all year round actually I think when I first discovered this it was winter and I just I don't know about you but in the winter I don't like actually getting out of the shower and having to put on a really thick body lotion it's going to take hours to sink in so this keeps the body really hydrated within the shower. It's also got that gorgeous almond smell. I'm obsessed with marzipan, so the smell of almonds is um, one that I absolutely adore. Then we have got the Precious Cream. This is a fabulous face moisturizer. This I would say is one of the slightly more, more premium products from L'Occitane. It has a slightly higher price point, so it's a really great opportunity to give this one a try because you get it for 25 pounds, as well as all the other bits and bobs. This is a really good product for anti-aging but if you're not too bothered about anti-aging just yet it's got loads of other benefits it's a very rich moisturizer so again during these hot summer months if you just want to give your skin uber hydration get a really lovely smooth and vibrant look then this is absolutely perfect for that you don't need too much of this either a little goes a long way and it's also really good to use in the evening as with the rest of the products it also smells divine and because it is so rich and yet so tiny it's also very good for taking with you on any long haul flights just to keep the skin hydrated while you are in the air. And then last but not least, another favorite of mine, this is the Immortel Facial Cleansing Oil. There are loads and loads of benefits to this. With the organic Immortel oil in there, it's not only very hydrating but also anti-aging as well. Removes waterproof makeup. I absolutely love using this one and this is a good tip actually. If you live and work in the city and you get home and your face just feels really dirty and grimy, I like to use this as soon as I get in the house. So sometimes I might do a double cleanse, do another cleanse before I go to bed, but this is just, I would describe this as a very silky, very pampering way to remove your makeup. So this is often what I do as soon as I get home after a day out and I find that it removes everything, waterproof makeup, the dirt from a, a day in a polluted city, gets rid of all of it. And again, small enough size to bring with me on holiday. So this has basically had me perfectly set up for my Thailand trip. So all of these little pieces will come in this gorgeous, 
little pouch which you can use to take away all of your beauty essentials on your summer holiday so perfectly timed as I mentioned 25 pounds out today in store and online I will leave a link to it down below very exciting um, so I hope you will check it out of course if you do then please tag me in any pictures any tweets I'd love to know if you discover any new favorites from this kit and I'm very excited to be partnering with L'Occitane for the pouch and also some more very exciting things coming up later on in the year so stay tuned for all of that I am now going to dry my hair. I'm gonna take my what's left of my coffee outside and enjoy the sunset. I think we're about 10 minutes away from sunset. So I'll catch up with you before dinner. So I've dried my hair, got dressed into my evening outfit and we are heading now to the restaurant called John. Everywhere around this resort you get a buggy which is um, something that we're getting used to. Charlie and I like to walk everywhere but it's very hilly here so you can just call for a buggy wherever you want to go. So we're getting a short journey up the hill to John which is the fine dining restaurant. I am wearing a beautiful new dress from Reese. It is perfect for our holiday. It's very lightweight fabric, beautiful colours and then my Club Monaco bag which I've added a little silk scarf to. I'm looking forward to some nice um, cocktails and hopefully lots of Thai inspired nibbles so I will see you at the restaurant. So we have a table with a view, still got its beautiful sunset glow and I've got here the cocktail menu. I think I'm going to try the herb infusion. Guava and lemongrass here are just amazing and I think this sounds very refreshing. And then in the main menu there's actually a couple of taster menus. However, because I'm not a huge fan of fish, I don't want to waste anything. So I think I'm going to go for corn-fed chicken breast to start with, and then ka na mu krob crispy pork as my main. What are you going to go for, Dine? Uh, so I'm going to have, we have seared red tuna, mm -hmm. soft, which sounds amazing, and then the scallop prawn panang curry. Nice. Sounds epic. Very nice. Cheers. We have a little spicy beef noodle appetizer. These little spoons are designed to be eaten all in one, but I think I'm gonna use my little fork to give it a try. Thai food is very spicy, so I'm gonna proceed with caution. The starter has arrived and it looks pretty epic. I have got chicken with a cucumber foam and then it's got some floral detail on top. Charlie is busy snapping away. What have you got doing? Seared tuna. Seared tuna and it's presented on a leaf, a giant lily Lotus leaf. leaf. Lotus leaf. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. After a very tasty but slightly strange textured starter, we have now got a palate cleanser. This is a mojito flavored sorbet. Mm. How is it done? They are really good. Nice? It's so refreshing. Good. You would, that would be amazing if you just come off the beach. Oh, yes. So good. Let's give it a go. And finally, the main event, not finally, because I'll definitely be having dessert, I have got a crispy pork with kale and I think this is a pomegranate dip. Charlie has got a prawn curry and I think they said green tea flavoured rice. Looks good. So my main course was absolutely delicious. It was a crispy pork belly and it was Scrumptious. Mm. Next we have cinnamon and what did you say? Cinnamon, it's just cinnamon and ice cream. I think. Cinnamon ice cream as our pre-dessert, and I just ordered the chocolate souffle as my main dessert, which comes with pistachio ice cream. And I am very much looking forward to it. 
Oh my god. This tastes like ice cream Christmas. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. That is good. And it has arrived. I have got a chocolate souffle with almonds and then I've got a pistachio ice cream in a little also pistachio flavoured waffle cup. Charlie's looks amazing. What is it? Coconut creme brulee. Presented in a coconut. Hungry man about town is on the job. <laughs> They've also just bought us this little dish of, um, what do you call them, petty fours. This looks like a very fancy, what are they called? Like a rocky road cornflake uh, type corn thing. This know. is a pistachio marshmallow, mango carrot. This is a local mung bean dessert and then a lovely little macaroon. Mm, mm, mm. Get that flat laid on. 